for watching My News 26. I'm Paula Jasper. Today we're downtown Manistee, and joining me is Mark Fetter, the executive director of the Manistee County Historical Museum. Thanks for joining me, Mark. Thank you for having me, Paula. Now, we're here to talk about the Great Fire of 1871, mm -hmm. but first let's get kind of an overview of this beautiful museum. Well, the museum itself was originally a bookstore and a pharmacy, and it was that way from about the mid-1880s to about 1957. Um, and then in 1961, the museum took over the building, and it's been that way ever since. But uh, it's, uh, the building itself, um, uh, the, the wood floors, uh, the tin ceilings, um, a lot of the other decorative things that were in the building originally are still here. So it's kind of a, of a thing where I always tell people the museum is the museum is the museum so you know a play on words in a way but it, it really is you know the building itself that's what gives it a uh, character and that's what makes it unique and that's what um, makes people come inside because the it, the building is, is somewhat originally like it was back in the 1880s now if we could touch on oh you spent hours touching on each exhibit so people really yes. have to come in and experience yes. it um a lot of this is uh, original stuff here and some is i'm sure uh, donations um most of it's been donated over the years the actual museum started in another building uh here in 1955 and then was moved over here in 1961 so a, a lot of those um uh, items and such came from that particular building were moved over here um but there were um uh, there are a number of exhibits that we have throughout the course of the year three major exhibits that we show off that pertain to um, a particular aspect of Manistee County's history. And then we have all, all, the, all the permanent stuff here, which in the back, since the building used to be a pharmacy, we have a permanent uh, pharmaceutical exhibit. Um, we also have a cigar stand exhibit. There used to be a cigar stand in here. Um, uh, all these other different elements that were um, inherent. Um, some of the elements that were inherent into the building that are still on display here uh, at the museum. Now, what year did you say this building was built? The building was originally built, uh, the, actually the building over here to the west was was originally built in the early 1880s. This building was built a little later on from that, and then they eventually connected the buildings to make one big building. Okay, yeah. the 1880s. Now, yeah. we're going to talk about the Great Fire yes. of 1871. 71. Correct, Tell yeah. us about that fire. Well, um, if you can imagine, Manistee at that time in 1871 was still, um, it, w it was very sp still sparsely populated to a certain extent. Um, uh, the first white settlement came here in 1841. It was about 30 years after that. And so uh, there weren't a lot of buildings, but there were, th there were quite a few scattered throughout the city. Um, but uh, it was still kind of a smaller community. And at that particular year, um, it was very, very dry. And uh, a lot of the area was still, even from the north of the city limits to the south of the city limits, was still kind of um, um, uh, forest, virgin timber, some of it um, was, was dead timber, so that was, kind of, that was all kind of scattered around all over the place, virgin timber and dead timber. And so um, uh, if you have a spark um, and a very dry day, very dry season, and then also with a very heavy wind, you're going to have problems. So that's exactly what happened. Um, the first alarm um, on October 8th, it was a Sunday, uh, was sounded off um, by at one of the mills in the morning. Um, and then a couple hours later, there was another spark at another mill. Um, and so that was about 2 p.m. And then uh, things kind of proceeded from there. And so by 9 o'clock at night, um, the fire just kind of grew and grew and grew. And at that point in time, the winds got heavier and the town went up in flames. And so what you have then is um, about more than two thirds of the town being completely d destroyed. Um, and at that point in time, Manistee didn't have any railroads. Um, there was no um, telephone or any type of wire communication at all. So they were pretty much abandoned. Um, and so the town just kept on burning and burning and burning, and then people eventually found um, um, shelter. Actually, a number of people found shelter in boats that were docked in, in Manistee Lake and um, uh, eventually found shelter there, and then some of the homes that were still left standing, people found shelter then. But it was, uh, it was a, I hate to use the term, but a glorious fire. Um, so um, it was a very um, uh, important part of the town, um, uh, important part of the town's history. 
So, yeah. And it was also the same time as the Chicago Fire? Same time as the Chicago Fire. Um, Holland also had a fire at that. Holland, Michigan also had a fire at that time of the year, uh, th that same time, and as well as in Wisconsin. They also had a, a big fire there. So it was a very dry all around. Um, there was always the rumor that a cow tipped over a, a, a something or other and set, the, and set the Chicago Fire blaze. I'm not certain if that's true, um, but that's not the way it happened here in Manistee. It was just happenstance that sparks from... Um, uh, some of the mills eventually coupled with all these other factors with the dry air and the wind just set the town ablaze and that's just that's just happenstance that it happened that time um, in Manistee as well as these other places. Isn't that amazing a fire like that and the whole town can be lost? Yeah, absolutely yeah it was it was it was it was huge and and so at that point in time all of the uh, buildings were primarily constructed just with wood well then after the fire and after they picked up the pieces, um, it was all brick then. They just made the buildings all with brick. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Mark. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you, Paula. Paula Jasper, minus 26, downtown Manistee.